Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Let's thank him this morning. You're welcome to Conform. It's another edition of Conform this morning. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you for your goodness, my, our Father. Our lover, our maker, our designer, our sustainer, our source, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your abundant mercies. We thank you, Jesus. Margaret of the globe rekete shes the globe arasata. Engle peti zobre dene shtoge belaharo. Son te vrete keti polo roko shtaga. Somebody go ahead and give him thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are good. Your mercies endure forever. You are good. Your mercies endure forever. You are the God of glory. Thank you, Jesus. You are without injustice. Good and upright are you. You are the God of faithfulness. You are the God of graciousness. Thank you, Jesus. Good and mercy are you. Good, good and merciful are you. Good and upright are you. You are without injustice. You are without, uh, you are without partiality. We give you praise, Jesus. Thank you. The bishop of our souls will thank you. The redeemer of our souls will thank you. The savior of our souls. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Thank you for the gift of today. Thank you for the gift of life. We love you. We love you. Jesus, I love you. Go ahead and tell him uh, that you love him. Thank you, Lord. Express your love to him. Express your love to him. We love him because he first loved us. But we love him all the same. Praise God. He, he didn't only love us. He would not have been complete if he only loved us. And then we don't love him back. We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. He first loved us, but we love him in, in response to his love. We love you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. And the people of Jesus said, Amen. Praise God. Okay, you are welcome to this edition for a couple of uh, days to come. We are not going to be uh, uh, taking the Bible readings. My apparatus is not quite complete um, in doing all that. Praise the Lord. Okay, so you are welcome once again. We have been looking at lessons from the life and the ministry, from the life, the teachings, and the ministry of Jesus Christ. And um, this week we are looking at the lesson of the fact that Jesus was a man of purpose. He was a man of purpose, he was a man on a mission. Jesus knew what he came to do. We saw that in John chapter 18, verse 37. He, he, he said, For this cause came I, and to this end was I born, to bear witness to the truth. Okay? So Jesus knew his purpose. He, he, he believed strongly in it. He walked in it. And he communicated it. People around him knew. So John the Apostle knew in First John chapter 3 verse 8, the Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Okay? Uh, Jesus, and he insisted on it. He didn't allow anything to distract him. Okay? He didn't allow anything to distract him. In Luke chapter 4 verse 43, the Bible says, he said, Let us go because I must preach the gospel of the kingdom to other cities for therefore am I sent. This is the reason I am sent. Okay, so he insisted on it. Praise the Lord. Glory to So this morning, uh, we saw all that yesterday. We looked at what is purpose and uh, what is purpose generally and what is your purpose uh, specifically. Uh, uh, now, um, this morning, I want us to look at how to know purpose. How do you know purpose? Recently, um, um, how do you get to know purpose? Uh, some people will say, how do you discover purpose? Okay, knowing purpose um, or discovering purpose or walking into purpose, anyone, uh, the important thing is to know it. Okay, um, I, I wanted to say something about that word discovering purpose. It is correct, okay, but... Um, some recently when i used it 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 seemed to me as if to say there has to be a some some kind of um 
um, um, eureka moment where somebody will say, oh, I've discovered it. Now, that is not correct. That's not correct. There doesn't have to be one eureka moment when somebody discovers purpose. Eureka means I found it. Okay, uh, from Archimedes, uh, from Archimedes the scientist. Okay, uh, 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 there are, there doesn't have to come one eureka moment where an angel appears to you or something happens and then your your scales fall off and say, ah, I've discovered purpose. No, okay. Some for some people it happens like that. They have a supernatural encounter and they are brought into purpose. But for many other people, you just grow up into it. You grow up into it as you are growing up uh, physically and growing up spiritually, learning to know God, walk with Him and learn uh, and, and hear Him, understand Him, you begin to decipher your purpose. So there are some pointers that will point you to your purpose. Not in any particular order have I arranged it this morning, but um, one way or the other. Uh, this will point you to know what your particular purpose. Number one is your strengths. Your strengths as a person, your strengths, your, your, your capabilities, the things you can do, your strengths. Okay? Um, your strengths are a pointer to your purpose. Your strengths are a pointer to your purpose. Whether they are uh, uh, psychological, st- uh, your psychological strength, or f- spiritual strength, or maybe even your physical strength. For Simon, for sorry, Samson, it was his physical strength that uh, that was a pointer uh, to his purpose. Okay, so your strength generally, your strength generally can point you to your purpose. And in saying that, I must say this. Um, remember Paul said uh, that he besought God three times to take off a particular turn from him. And God said, God told him, God said, um, my grace is sufficient for you because my strength is perfected in weakness. My strength is perfected in weakness. Uh, um, uh, it's important when we're talking about strength to not only look at, we have to look at it with spiritual eyes. We have to look at it with spiritual eyes. Sometimes your, your, your strength comes from the place of your weakness. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sometimes your strength comes from the place of your weakness. What once started out being weak in, in life, what started out constituting a point of weakness in life, might eventually be a pointer to the person's strength, which will eventually be a pointer to the person's purpose. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. Uh, it's so very important. So, um, your strength, number one. Your flares, the things you like to do, your interests, your interests, your attractions, the things that attract you, the things you like to do. Okay, for instance, I use myself as, as an example. Even if I don't know anything about Christopher Isioma Williams, I know that part, a central part of my life purpose is teaching. Ah! I know it. I know it. I've known it from forever. And you know, many of these things that I'm saying points me to it. I love teaching. Ah! I love teaching. You know, sometimes when we are teaching, or teaching is going on, and some people, whether I'm the one doing it, others are doing it, and some people seem distracted and, or seem lost, I wonder what is going on. I wonder, I love teaching. It's a flair, it's an interest. If I get a good teaching material, it will look as if to say, I have won a jackpot. Your flair is a pointer to your purpose, your flair, your, uh, your, the things that attract you, the things that seize your attention. Yes, the things that command your attention, the things that seize your interests are a pointer to your purpose. Okay, uh, another pointer to your purpose is your grace, your grace and your giftings, 
your grace, your giftings, the things you are gifted to do, the things that come to you naturally. Many years ago, I was praying with a prophet, and um, I, I really wanted to grow in the prophetic. I wanted, so I begged him that we should be praying together, and we did it for a couple of weeks together. Okay, we we'll pray, just trying to pray in tongues for seven hours. Capro to Balarakash, nonstop. We're doing it. It was in my house, and I noticed that more than half the times of praying, the man, the prophet, will be sleeping. He will be sleeping, dozing, coming in and out, and all that, you know. But I, I mean, I was praying ceaselessly, consistently, nonstop, fervently, and at the end of the day. You know, he's the man that will be bringing words. He will be bringing words and apt words. He's the <laughs> he was sleeping uh, 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 through half the time, but he's the one that words will be flowing. Uh, during that episode, he, I came to understand that gifts are gifts. So, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. It's a gift, they gave it to the person. It's just like this healing ministry. Some people, you see some healing man, men of God, they pray a lot. But it's not every time that they stand there that they are prayed up. Not every time. There was a man called A.A. A. Allen. He was a drunk. He was a drunk. But, and I mean, literally, they will help him up the stage in a crusade because he is tipsy. Once he takes the mic, healing uh, on on. Healings will begin to crazy healings, crazy healings. The man died young because of his lack of character, but crazy healings will begin to take place. Your your grace, your giftings are a pointer to your purpose. Also, closely related to that is your your are uh, your talents. Now, your grace, your giftings. I'm using that to refer to maybe your spiritual graces and giftings. And then uh, your talents, your physical uh, graces and giftings, your, your fi- the things you can do uh, naturally. It comes to you naturally. You can do it. You, can, you don't have to go anywhere to learn it. You can do it. You, 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 it's, it's, it's a follow come. <laughs> it's a follow come. It's a follow come. Your follow comes are a, a, a pointer to your purpose. Your follow comes are a pointer to your purpose. It's so very important. It's a, they are a pointer. They are a pointer to, to your purpose. Also, your recommendations. Your recommendations are a pointer to your purpose. Your recommendations. What people think about you or what people are saying about you. For instance... I'll use two striking examples. I just returned to Lagos. Uh, this should be around 2000. 2000. No, or, or was it 1998 before I went back to the middle bed? I, okay, I just come back from youth service. It was around 98, 97. 98. And then um, I was working in a hospital in Lilupeju there called Labi Hospital. So I was the doctor managing the hospital, and we used to have a lunch hour fellowship. So during the lunch hour fellowship, um, we, were, we usually share and pray. So I shared, and then we, I led prayers. While we were praying, somebody walked in. Somebody walked in. He came from one of the companies we were treating to receive whatever. So after... After we finished, I said, ah, sorry, sir, sorry, sir, we're praying. So, ah, no problem, no problem. And then the person said, Dr. Enikpe, sir. Enikpe. Enikpe. Enikpe, sir. That, in other words, you have a calling, no? You have a calling. I said, well, ah, why did he say, ah, he said he came with pain. I, I've forgotten part of the body. Now, maybe toothache or something. That while he was sitting there, while I was teaching and, and leading prayers, that pain left him. And that as he sat down, they said, this man has a calling on his life. That's a recommendation. It happened again during my youth service when I was in Bainway State. 
I used to, they used to do rosters and different people in the hospital would share. So one day I was sharing, I was new in that hospital. After I finished sharing, the, one of the security men would say, Doctor, you be pastor. You be pastor. You know, so those are recommendations. Those are recommendations. Many years ago, during the nine months break, we were at home and we used to gather myself, my friends, and Pastor Uche. We will, we will share the word and all that. And one of those times, Pastor Uche said, let, let Chris share. Let Chris share. I like the way he breaks down the Bible. Okay, this was like uh, maybe our second year into Christianity. Okay, uh, so your recommendations, what people think about you and say about you, I point uh, to your purpose. So very important. Your aspirations and desires, your aspirations and desires, I point uh, to your purpose. What you long to do what you long to do in which area of life you long you long to, es- to to be expressed in or to express yourself in it's a pointer sometimes to purpose it's a pointer sometimes to purpose some of these things look natural sometimes but other times but as natural as they look sir sometimes they are very heavy pointers to very grave spiritual spiritual things okay your desires and your aspirations are a pointer to your purpose especially it is if it is very strong if it is very strong if it is very strong okay one day i was having a a meeting with somebody that was on my contact i had always been sharing uh, when I got her number and we fixed the Zoom meeting, uh, from that time, I've been s- uh, sending videos to, to her. Then eventually we had a live Zoom meeting. And I did it. The videos I do, I do in my library. The, the Zoom meeting we had, it was in the library. So she said, the first thing I want to ask before this meeting is that those books behind you, I've been seeing them in your videos. Have you read all of them? And I said, no, but I, many of them are for references. I've read a lot of them. And I don't, I'm not somebody who reads from a book from page to page. When something is important to me, I take it, uh, you know, and all that. Uh, those are collections of, that I started collecting as a student. As a student. I long to have materials. I, I did not deny myself or several things it just to be able to get materials to uh, th- that that that's a strong pointer to my teaching ministry there are some pastors you go to their house their library you can put it in a ghana must go small ghana must go can carry their whole library and it's been in ministry for a long time okay uh, that kind of person cannot be a teacher it could be any other thing. It could be a prophet. It could be uh, uh, an evangelist. But he, he, he is not a teacher. If he were a teacher, his hunger for knowledge will be unmatched. Okay, so I'm using myself as an example. Your, your aspirations and your desire. You know, growing up, I, I long to teach like Matthew Ashimolo. I long to teach like Samadei Emi. I long to teach like, like uh, Miles Muro, like Mike Mudok. In fact, sometimes when I teach these days, I can tell the particular anointing that uh, uh, some of these mentors, that the particular anointing that is flowing through me, through me at a particular point, because I, I can trace it to where I collected those things. Okay, so uh, another pointer is your passion. Your passion. Your passion can be your pointer. Okay, and then I will not belabor that. Another pointer to purpose is uh, or something that will bring you to your purpose help you know your purpose is praying praying a lot in tongues about it asking god oh god where's my purpose? lead me to my purpose show me my purpose reveal my purpose to me point it out to me let it be clear to me until god reveals it it cannot be revealed all the pointers may be around you but until god helps you not all the pieces of information together to make a whole knowledge it cannot be revealed to you. Those things, the secret things belong to God. 
But those things which are revealed are for us and our children that we might walk in them. Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. Okay? And then lastly, uh, uh, something that helps you know your purpose is staying a lot in the word of God. The word of God shapes it. It robs the mind of God. It provokes the mind of God in your mind. The word of God provokes the mind of God in your mentality. When you, you are somebody who hears the word of God a lot, uh, or exposes the, to the word of God a lot, God's mentality will be imparted to you. And then with time, you begin to know the things that God knows. God knows your purpose now. He knows your purpose. And after some time, you too, you begin to, God, you'll be let into God's level of wisdom and God's frequency of thinking. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. To live life without purpose is to waste life, sir. Is to waste life. You will not waste. Your spouse will not waste. Your children will not waste. Your ministry will not waste. Your destiny will not waste. I, I join my faith with you this morning. And we agree that you will come into a powerful knowledge, formidable knowledge of what your purpose is in the name of Jesus. As you go today, it is the best day you have ever lived. It's a day of signs, a day of wonders, a day of miracles, a day of testimonies. It's a day of favors. It's a day of increase. It's a day of attracting positive things in the name of Jesus. Calamity is far from you and pestilence is not your portion. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.